Hi, this is Crawdad Outdoors. I'm Crawdad, and uh, I'm going to tell you how to catch more crawfish in your traps and what baits to use. Alright, <coughs> if you guys made one of my crawfish traps, no, well, this is the new improved version. Uh, this is longer, much longer. Um, it has a bigger door, which doesn't really matter. Um, it has a bait hook. I'll tell you what that is in a little bit. And it has a bait holder, which is a totally different thing than a bait hook. And I'll tell you what that is a little bit later. And on my other trap, I didn't have these. And you don't need them, because the other trap was bigger than this one, but for a smaller trap like this, you're going to need these. I don't know if you could see it, but, uh, yeah, you can. See these right there? Those? That prevents, it's a blocker for the crawfish. It prevents it from getting out of the trap. As you can see, it's, it's kind of low to the ground. It's about two inches from the ground. So, from the bottom of the cage up to the bottom of the trap. So, you're going to need it. If you... Alright, so, if you made this trap, this is what you can do with this trap. Okay. First, you're going to need minnows, or sardines, or anchovies. So a real oily fish. I caught these a few days ago. Um, take an old sock you don't use, or a small meshed thing, so something like this. Something like this net. Can you see that? Yeah. Something like this net. Alright. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever you're using and you're going to put the put your minnows, anchovies, or, um, uh, let's see here, or your sardines. And make sure when you get these, if you're using minnows, make sure you get them the day you catch them is the day you're going to use them. Like right now, these are not too good because they're kind of getting bad. Caught these a few days ago. So, but I can use this for like speck fishing or something. Alright, so, but if you get them in a can, like the sardines or the uh, anchovies are, they're perfectly fine because they have to be fresh. Alright, so you got them in your little baggie or wherever you're putting them. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a little slip like thing right here. Alright? So you close it. Remember, this is only for this trap right here. It's not in my other traps. Alright, so you're going to close it. And then you're going to tie it down. And so it stays like this. So it looks like this. Alright. After that's done, which you don't really have to, but I like to, because it, it works very good, trust me. And in this other trap, I don't know if I said it earlier in the video, but you can add this to my other trap. It's very easy. All you do is you do the same methods on putting how to put these rings on. Just cut a little piece, two by three inches, bend it a little bit so it makes a little bend right here. So it looks like this. And then attach it, put one ring here, one ring here, and take a little bread tie thing put it there, and then you put it, it's very simple. Alright, now the fish hook. I don't have any uh, bluegills, but what you're going to do is you're going to use bluegills, um, you can use bass, you can use perch, any type of pan fish really, or any freshwater fish you can catch in your, your lake, pond, stream, or river. So if you have trout, put a trout on there. If you have salmon, you can put salmon. Salmon is the best to use. Uh, don't matter, like, if, if there's non, if there's salmon in your area, you'll have tons of crawfish. If there's not salmon, you'll still have tons of crawfish, but you have to let it soak overnight. Uh, or a few days, two or three days. And crawfish are very picky. They like only fresh stuff. If it's rotten, they won't eat it. Alright, so let's get back to this. Let's see, uh, what can I use? 
Alright, the little white net. I'll pretend that little white net is a fish. So you can put one, two, three fish on here. Depends on how long this is. On this one, I can stick five fish. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to... Let me try to get this down like this. So you see it? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, the fish's eye and you're going to stick the hook through its eye and just keep putting as many fish you're going to come up you're going to tie it on and then that, boom, that's done and so this should be like this right through the, its eye okay and then what you're going to do next is after you have all your fresh fish on there and in there if you choose in there if you choose to and now let me tell you a little bit about it Okay, so you got your fish on here, and you and if you're using this, you have it in here. So then you close it up. Okay, it's closed. Not really, but just pretend. You throw it in the water. And you let it soak. All right, you throw it in at uh, 12 o'clock-ish. Crawfish are coming in. They're starting to circle around. You have no more bait. Well, that's what this is for. You have plenty of it in there, and they can't get to it, and so they're still coming in. It's kind of a trick. So the crawfish are eating, and then plus has more extra scent. So, well, hope I helped. If you have any other questions, just uh, comment me or send me a message. Well, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.